Well, our shadow is just literally, in, in simple terms, it's just literally all the stuff we repress. It's all the stuff we repress in ourselves um, because of the conditioning of the of our early years, right? So anything that we that we're just not conscious of, that we've been told has been unacceptable, will get put away in what we call our our shadow. And shadow work becomes reconnecting to those parts that we have repressed because in that lies a lot of energy. So it's easier to think about it from the positive side, I think, because um, we can repress a lot of gifts. You know, people, mm. children, children who thought they could be good singers or creatives don't do it anymore. And they go in and they work in the corporate world and they don't really like it. And, you know, the soul's not really connected to it. Mm-hmm. Because something in them has been some part of them has been repressed um, and our work is to befriend that and bring it into consciousness it's more difficult with the difficult stuff right it's more difficult mm-hmm. to think of ourselves being um complaining or that we um might have a, a, I say anger because anger comes up a lot in relationships where the, when couples avoid it, when they avoid having healthy conflict because what they're afraid of is actually expressing healthy anger. So I mentioned that a lot because it's a big thing and that does get in the way of intimacy because if you can't tell your partner what's going on in your mind because you're fearful of either their anger or actually secretly fearful of your own that's a major intimacy blocker. So that's why I mention it quite a lot. 